Payments and timings. Let's see uh, three different cases with the booking. Let's see what happens when everything goes fine. Let's see what happens when the guest causes the damage. And let's see what happens when the guest claims a refund. So everything goes fine. That's the simplest one. The guest makes a booking and pays $1,000 for the stay and $300 for the uh, deposit, um, security deposit. Now, these numbers are random. Uh, there could be different amounts of security deposit. So the money is paid. It goes on the smart contract. It stays there. It sits there and waits for a date or an instruction. So it stays there. The guest goes, checks in, everything is fine, checks out, everything is fine. 48 hours after the checkout, the security deposit is refunded to the guest and at the same time, the amount is released to the host. $300 to the guest, $1,000 to the host. Everybody's happy, nothing else happens. Reviews follows. Second case, guest causes a damage. In the same way the booking happens, $1,000, $300, go to the smart contract, $1,300 are there, guest check in, guest checks out, and uh, after checkout, the host finds something broken, and uh, the, the host says, okay, you broke this thing, it costs exactly $300, is to keep it simple, give me $300 for the damage. And in this case, the guest says, okay, you're right, you can get the money. Um, by clicking on, you know, on the app, by instructing the, the system to release the $300, the guest lets the smart contract send $1,000 and $300 and loses the right to get the $300 back. So in this case, there was no involvement of the panel. It's been managed uh, by the two parties. So let's see what happens when uh, the guest claims a refund. Something went wrong and the guest wants some money. So again, the guest paid $1,000 plus $300 in security deposit, checked in, checked out and says, I want to be paid $100 because the internet didn't work and I couldn't work. I couldn't, I, I lost the business or whatever, $100. Um, let's say that the, the, the host says no, it's not my fault, it was like a, third, you know, a problem caused by the, the, the line, whatever. So the, the, the host says, I don't want to give this money to the guest, it's not my fault. Uh, the panel is involved, the panel decides, discusses, uh, it has seven days to reach a decision. It, there could be papers or pictures or videos to, you know, send. To the panel to, to discuss and then the panel in this case let's say that says no the problem was caused by the host because the modem was faulty or whatever and you must give hundred dollars to the guest so let's say this happens after the 48 hours after the checkout so the guest uh, has got the three hundred dollars back and the host got a thousand dollars so there's no more money in the smart contract well the panel can force the host to pay a hundred dollars uh, not from the smart contract but you know from the credit it's gonna say we're gonna pay it from the trips fund and uh, you owe us a uh, hundred dollars or if this host has uh, its own fund remember the host guarantee fund we're gonna take it from your fund and then the money is sent to the guest, $100, and, and, that's, and that's it, basically. Uh, everybody happy? Usually people are never happy when they do not want to pay and they think they are not at fault. But that's the role of the platform. It has to be exactly in the middle between hosts and guests. So let me tell this again. It's not going to be a platform made by hosts for hosts. That wouldn't work because in that case, the money wouldn't go to the guest and the guest would not book anymore probably. So and there's many other cases oh, similar to this and we really hope the panel can do a better job than the traditional OTAs on this one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe or share. You can comment in YouTube, LinkedIn or directly in the Google Docs white paper page. Thank you for watching.